Okay, we are back with some more exploration of the village with the weird crow people in it. Uh, I just fell off the roof. I didn't die, but I did fall off the roof. And uh, because I did, I apparently could not get back up because you can't just run or jump or you can't just like climb back up onto the roof. I do wish that this game, that this series in general actually, that this series had a bit more like mobility sort of. Like for those of you who played Dragon's Dogma, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about where you can like, where you can jump and clamber and the, the uh, the movement is a bit more interactive rather than just like doing things randomly. You know what I mean. I wish this game had like slightly more advanced uh, movement mechanics, but I guess not. Let's try this. Let's try jumping over here. Oh, well, that's weird. I pressed B a ton of times, but nothing happened. I guess you're not supposed to be able to jump right there. Can you change the control scheme in this? I think you can. I think you can change it so the jump is click instead. I honestly like that a lot better. I know that a lot of classic fanatics will like the B, but I don't like that too much. Because you're already holding B, and then you have to release and press it. It's a kind of a bit of work. Okay, what's in here? Oh, I see loot down there, but I don't care about it right now. Let's go up here and see what happens. Granted, there's going to be like a crow or something ready to push us off. Okay, we're up high now, and I don't trust it, because the game's probably going to try to knock us off here somehow. Probably with one of these guys. Or not. Are, these guys are all dead, I think. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, a lizard. Never mind, got away. Bird? No. All the birds here are dead. Strange. Jump scare? No jump scare. This is an interesting little place, but it doesn't seem to have much purpose. Look, there's not a boss in here or anything. Hold on. You hear that? There's a person or something in armor. Maybe it's an armored corvian. That would be funny. There's someone walking around with, like armor and big footsteps, sort of. I don't know who it is. There's a well down there with some nice choking sounds emanating from it. That's very pleasant. Oh. Okay. What do we got in here? Let's use the binoculars. Okay, we have a wolverine dude, apparently. And a saber dude. We have two of them. That's going to be a real challenging fight, to be honest. Luckily, we do not fight fair. Eat fire. Maybe these two guys could show me how you get out of this area, too. That would be pretty convenient. Okay, apparently they're not quite that stupid. They're not as stupid as they look. Okay. Can we enter this building formally, or do we have to drop down? Okay, I see a door right there. Maybe we can enter this in a normal way. Probably not. Uh, dare we risk this? You know what? I'm going to risk it, but I'm going to risk it properly. We're going to equip some some big stuff right now. We're going to get into some big gear now. I like this helmet in appearance a lot, but we're going to have to switch that out. We're get going with the uh, the Lothric Knight's Greatsword. I like this weapon a lot. And let's do this. Oh, look at that. Didn't even mean to do that, and it worked. Good stuff. Give me your Titanite. Oh, wow. He didn't even get staggered by that. Did you see that? That didn't even stagger him. Wow. This thing is... See, this thing's mad effective. There you go. Destroyed. Yoink. How much you want to bet that wouldn't have opened from the other side? It probably wouldn't have. This looks like a church of some form. I feel like one of these is going to be an illusory wall. Hmm. 
Here's a book. I didn't know these things could read. Jump scare? No. Way of White Corona. How strange. I guess, I guess it's a spell. Let's check out what that is real fast here. I really do think there's going to be an illusory wall in one of these archway ways, though. It seems like the kind of place they put one, doesn't it? Okay, let's stop fooling around for a moment. Look at this. Yep. White Discus slices into foes and returns to Conjurer. Hey, I could even use this. A Lost Way of White Miracle launches a white discus which slices into foes and returns to its conjure. Long ago, when the imprints left by the gods were still deep, miracles of the Way of the White existed alongside Oriolis. What? Those who learned for the long lost Oriolis fully believed that they would return one day, those who yearned for them. What on earth are those, I wonder? I hope we get some of those types of sorceries. It doesn't have a capital A either, so it's not like it's anything super important. It seems like it's just some kind of weird mechanic, I guess you could say. There's some loot I can't get. Nice. Well, this was an interesting little area, and I like the fact that we discovered something new, dude. That's exceptionally good. Let's see, more grudge trees, very nice. Oh, and here's a way back up to the roof, that's cool. So I can go back up there and get the the, the, uh, the loot in the rafters if I wanted to, without having to worry about dropping down to the crazies. More rot, that's nice. Here's a well. Thanks for that jump scare. Jerk. How shocking. That was a horrible joke. Okay, so nothing over here but another jump scare. This DLC has too many jump scares, I'm telling you. It has too many jump scares and not enough, like, bosses or new items. Like, FromSoft was good with horror when it came to, like, uh... The Hinter Tombs in Bloodborne? Those were pretty creepy, I thought. But, uh, this is not that creepy. They're just like birds, you know? It's not creepy. Okay, so I need to find a way that I can drop down onto the cross beams, but, uh, I don't see one. Hmm. I'm thinking my best bet... Hold on, can we break this? No. I'm thinking my best bet would be this one, and maybe just, like, roll to the side and try to aim for this crossbeam. Let's give that a shot. Nope. That does not work. Well, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It's probably not anything interesting anyway. Probably, like, a simple gem or whatever. Okay. I'm thinking I should equip the torch here, because it's kind of a hassle to switch through my pyromancy flame and all that stuff. And I'm low on health again for some reason. Nice. Aggro? Aggro? Oh, snap. Get lost. No. Wow. I didn't know these could grab you. Oh, nice. So these have a grab attack, too. That's great. Holy snap. They can z st strike you, too. I'm guessing I have to attack these largely when they're busy breathing the ice. Okay, we got him. So these tree things have since gotten a new form, apparently. Now they can grab me, strike me and uh frostbite me with their grab too and i can't escape the grab either because i was mashing like crazy but uh all right so that's new ready for another jump scare there's another tree lady over there and there's a body right at her feet i'm pretty i'm prepared for a jump scare from that body by the way whoa What on earth? That should that, that should have killed her. 
Yeah, you can't escape this grab at all. You just have to take that grab, kinda. Young White Branch. Right? I don't trust this body. It's probably gonna be a jump scare. Ready for it. Nope. No secret either. We're getting kinda closer to that central area. I feel like that's probably a boss fight right there. Okay, enough derping around with, like, trees and stuff. Let's find our next bonfire. Because remember, our last bonfire is all the way over here in the bird settlement. And we still, by the way, we still have not gone back to that one bridge that we need to cross either. And there's a guy in, this, in the distance over there. Okay. I don't trust any of this, but we'll walk forward. Oh. Who's talking? Everything. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. I don't but proclaim anything. You lack the stomach. Oh, let's find out. That you'll bring upon yourself. Oh, this, that seems like, like this guy wants issue. We'll give him an issue. He wants an issue, clearly. Sir Wilhelm. And he's wielding an interesting weapon right there. But can it stand up to mine? Let's find out. Oh, no, you don't. You cheesy jerk. Get wrecked. You completely cheesy jerk. He freaking heals himself. Are you kidding me? Call yourself a knight and you heal in mid-PVP? Dishonorable. No, not a second time. Forgive me, my lady. I swore an oath. But I have failed you. That's right. Lady Elfrida. I'm guessing she's next on our hit list. She's probably a boss or something. Onyx Blade and a Contraption Key. The key to the contraption leading to the attic of the archive found on the edge of the Corvian settlement. After Sir Wilhelm led a white-haired woman to the attic of the library, he kept this key as if it were his life. So she's up there in the attic, I'm guessing. Okay. And he gave us a weapon, too. Onyx Blade. Elfrida, the eldest among her sisters and leader of the Sable Church, bestowed this sword to her knight. Only, the sword was a farewell gift, and acceptance signified the knight's resignation from Elfrida's service. Skill, Elfrida's Black Flame, and wreath blade of Black Flame, born of the similarly hued flame that smolders within her. Weird. So that's the weapon he was using against us. We'll check that out, uh, some point. But not now. I'm too interested in what's going on in this dark and unusual place. I hear something wriggling. Jump scare? I hear something wiggling. I hear like thief sound effects. They're from Thief 1. If anyone's ever played that game, it's an amazing game. But, uh, it's the same sound effects they use for lava in that game. The weird wriggly effects. It's the exact same sounds. That's awesome. Okay, I guess this is our next destination. What's opening? Oh, it just, just, just the ceiling falls down. That's nice. Okay, I'm ready. Something's gonna be up here, and it's not gonna be friendly, I bet it. Is that a lady crouching there on that desk, like, scribbling away or whatever? Maybe that's a chick you head up here. Before we talk to her, we'll look around this room first. Okay, well, you can't target whatever this is, so obviously it's not ready to attack us, at least not yet. Was that lightning I saw, or was that a graphical glitch? Probably gra a graphical glitch. This place is m so freaking dark, you can't see anything. And I even have my torch on and all that. 